live. Joel coming to you live here from Danbury, Connecticut. Off to our destination this evening. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody, for all the love and blessings this last 24 hours. I was woken up again this morning at 3.30 by mom, so I know she's definitely looking after me. I was doing my meditation this morning. Man, I felt her power come into my body, so I know she's in a very safe and peaceful place. So thank you all very much for that. I greatly, greatly appreciate that. But uh, today I was thinking about trusting in the timing. I know that uh, Raul posted about this yesterday in the Daily Edge, and I listened to it this morning. I had no idea what it was talking about. But today it really came full circle and great clarity in this. Good to see you, Georgia. Happy, say, Friday already. TGIF, everybody out there. Friday is the day to go out there and celebrate the closings for the week. And I was thinking about trusting in the time. We had so many things going on this past year, year and a half. We had the Rises One Foundation. We were waiting on the documents to come in. And COVID hit, slowed everything down with the government. We had property that I've been working on up in New Milford, Connecticut for at least the last year and a half. And I'm like, well, I don't know what's going on. What's taking so long? What's this? What's that? And ultimately, it comes down, it's, it's not on my timing. It's not my timing. And we come up here to visit mom, and it was on mom's timing, right? So if you look at the three patterns or the three things that just happened here with mom, with the property in New Milford, and with the 501c3 nonprofit organization, I was like, my, my spiritual being was like, trust in the timing my human being was like I need it now hurry up yesterday I need it right here right now let's go what's taking so long I don't have this kind of time and I was telling myself this story but the reality thing everything is happening exactly as it's supposed to unfold but we the people always want to make it on our time and the reality is God's time the universe's time we have no say so we just have to be the experiencer sit back enjoy the ride stop trying to make so much about it and when it's about ready to happen you'll know it's ready to happen don't worry about when it's going to happen just know that it will happen and trust in that timing so we're pulling into our destination here at the last spot it looks like <clears throat> so thank you guys very much i was out the door bright and early this morning taking care of a bunch of stuff over at aunt cappy's getting everything ready over there but we ended up closing today on that property up in new milford and like I said, it's been a year and a half process. And so now we have the, the house up there. We have the land up there. And it's, it's a peaceful place. It really is. So I'm going to go up there tomorrow, take a look at the progress. The place is already rented out. Everybody's going to be moving in. Good to see you, Sandy. And uh, I'm excited. I'm excited for, for a new slate, a new clean slate here to get started up there on this property. And we're looking at a couple different avenues and opportunities. I'll, I'll share that with you as we go forward. And... I know that with the, the Rises One Foundation, I was like, man, we gotta get the paperwork. I said, we got people that wanna donate to our organization, so we go out and build better homes for veterans, and it wasn't happening. I'm like, I don't know why it's taking so long. Well, when, when is this gonna happen, right? So my, my mental mind was trying to tell me, hurry up, let's go. And then God, the universe, and life is saying, listen, you just need to slow down, wait for my timing, and I will cue you in when we're ready to give this to you. And then for us to get up here yesterday to see mom and give her that hug, give her that kiss before she, she crossed over into heaven and gained her wings. And, I mean, we just have to trust in the timing, ultimately. We have to just trust. Trust in the process. Trust in the timing. Trust in that it's going to work out. It'll all work out for us. And everything in this life is, is not permanent. It's always going to keep changing. We just keep moving and moving and moving. Good to see you, Mary. We just walked by your house up here, Mary and your old neighborhood walking the dogs up there so we've been really enjoying this time here and back in connecticut to uh have some peace and have some clarity and visit some people and and know that that when we get into our mind and get in the expectations of things that's when we screw up life when we expect something to happen just do it if you if you, if you feel something on your heart just do that know that it's all going to work out it'll work out in the time that's supposed to work out not on our time but it'll work out on god's time the universe or when you're ready to receive it because many times we say i want all these things and they pile on top of us and we crumble under the weight like bc comics back in the day the guy had to have that big boulder on top of his head and it would squash him under the boulder so if our capacity is not there to take those things on we have to wait for the timing to be absolutely right for us to receive the blessing, to receive that gift, to receive whatever we're waiting to receive. 
So guys, have a blessed and fantastic Friday. Go out there, close the week strong, and go all in on your families this weekend. Get very present, get very centered, get very focused, pour some love on them. I know it's going to be some beautiful weather across this whole great country right now. So go out there, enjoy yourselves, be present, share some love, share some stories, make a couple phone calls to people that you haven't called this week, this past month, this past year, because I know those people are waiting to hear from you. I honor you, I appreciate you, and I thank you for all the love that we received these past 24 hours. It does not go unnoticed. So thank you very much. You guys have a blessed and fantastic evening when it's all said and done together. We all rise as one.